Hello, and welcome to this Panel Pilot Ace tutorial. In this tutorial, we will show you some helpful tips and tricks to make using the design software easier. We will show you how to copy a completed screen, how to create a splash screen, the advantages of the align and distribute functions, how to use filters and using them to group elements, how to create custom element templates and their benefits, how to use the hardware schematic tool, and how to set up your Panel Pilot Ace to drive a relay. There will be timestamps in the description box, along with being shown on the screen, to allow you to skip to the parts of the video you would like to view. To begin this tutorial, first start a new project. You can name this whatever you would like, but for now, we are going to name this Did You Know Video. And the device model is going to be the 70A. Select OK. The first tip is the advantages of copying a completed screen to your project. The Panel Pilot Ace Design Studio allows the user to have multiple projects open at once in the project browser. As you can see over here, I have two projects open. The first one is one I had already opened, and this is where we're going to copy the completed screen. And the second one is the project we just created. One benefit of having these projects both open is that it allows the user to copy and paste screens from one project into another. To copy a screen, click on the screen and right click. Select copy and then go to the project you would like to copy the screen. And if you right click on screens again, select paste. It has now pasted the screen from the other project into this new project. As you can see, it added all the visual elements, function elements, and hardware elements from that other project. The second tip is how to create a splash screen. To do this, we are going to add a picture to our project and click Add. You can add an image to the project. For this image, we are going to make the size 980 by 295. If you right click on it, Go to Align Elements and Align to the Center. Then also if you click on the background and change the color, you can change it to white. We are then going to name this first screen Splash Screen. Next, go to the library and add Action Load Screen to the project. Make the load screen the second screen, which is the example screen one, the one we had copied from the other project. Next, add a button. The visual element for this button is going to be the image we added. And then on clicked, it should perform the screen loader we just created. If you preview this in emulator by going to file, preview in emulator. And when you click on the splash screen, it'll go to the next screen. You have now completed a splash screen. The third tip will be the advantages of the align and distribute functions for visual elements. As demonstrated in the last tip, where we clicked on the image and right clicked and went to align elements, align to the center. You can also align this to the bottom or other various options. If you go to the second screen, as you can see, the distances between these images are wrong. So if you hit control and select them, go to distribute horizontally. The elements are now aligned. The fourth tip is how to use filters and using them to group elements. To create a filter, you first need to open the elements groups window. To do so, go to window and check element groups. As you can see, it now added it above the library. Then you need to select the visual function and hardware elements you would like added to the filter. If you click here and you can scroll down, it will select all of them for you. As you can see, all of these bars are now selected. If you right click on them, select create filter. Now, as you can see, with this selected, it has now selected in the visual elements all of these bars. If you select out of the filter, you can see all of the other elements are all now visible. The fifth tip is how to create custom element templates and their benefits. Again, we're going to select all these bars. 
right click and save as template. As you can see, it created a new section to the library, the user defined section. If you add a new screen to the project and double click, it added all those bars to this project because it was now made into a template. This template can be used in future projects if you so choose. The sixth element is how to use the hardware schematic tool. This tool allows the user to see where to plug the inputs and outputs onto the Panel Pilot Ace. To open this, go to File and open the Port Schematic. And this shows you exactly how to set up your Panel Pilot Ace. The seventh and final element is how to set up your Panel Pilot Ace to drive a relay. To do so, you will need the data sheet for the SGD70A. So if you go to our website, lastcarelectronics.com, in the search tab, type in the SGD70-A. If you scroll down a bit, it'll bring you to the product page for the 70-A. If you scroll down to our resources section and select go, it'll bring up the data sheet for you. In the data sheet, go to page eight. And at the bottom of page eight, you will see the schematic of how to set up your device to drive a relay. This video is complete. Thank you for viewing this Panel Pilot Ace tutorial, and I hope to see you in the next video.